what's up guys los here from the big retro show happy new year to you this is the first video of 2023 on the big retro show and what what better way to kick it off than with a little known arcade game called cannon dancer i'm playing the jap japanese version of this game and the reason i'm playing it actually is because it is coming to the switch in march Yes, that's right, it is getting a Switch release. And although the date hasn't officially been uh, released by the company, it's said to have uh, been leaked that it's going to be released in March. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some, some quarters in. And this is the four quarters challenge, so I'm going to put four quarters in to see how far I can get in this game. Of course, I have no idea what they're saying. And that's okay, because I don't really care I just want to kick some butt so um yeah as you can see this game has um <coughs> quite a bit of common with strider and you know it's not a bad thing strider is actually one of my favorite arcade games of all time so any anytime i can get a little bit of a strider like experience playing some arcade games and uh, i welcome that but yeah, man, I mean, this game is going to be on the Switch here uh, coming up. Wow, yeah, man, this game is pretty, pretty difficult. And uh, yeah, it's one of the games that is worthy of a, of a pickup. You know, I, I um, do a lot of arcade gaming, and this is a game that I played here and there through time. I actually had no plans on playing in this tonight. Except that I saw the news that um, the game was going to be released on Switch. So I thought, yeah, let's see what this game is about. It'd be a good um, way to introduce people who have a Switch and who like these kind of, of games, these arcade games. To, um, to give them a sense of what is this game about. Oh, that's pretty nice. What am I supposed to do here? Just like... That was quarter one. Wow. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty out there. It's pretty difficult. It's all about the patterns, all right. You just gotta jump. Hit, hit this thing. Is this the boss or what is this? That's pretty damn weird. It's like a weird version of Strider or something. Anyhow, guys, um, yeah, man, 2023, it's here. There's going to be some new games released. And hopefully, you know, they say that the um, PS5 shortage is over, but I will believe it when I see it. I don't, I don't really believe anything that game companies say anymore, man. I just, I have to see for, my, for myself with my own eyes that they're releasing stuff and that it's on time and that it's quality before I, you know, weigh in on it. Alright. It'd be kind of cool to know what the story is um, for this game and if you know, leave it in the comments below. Oh, okay. There's a ninja magic button. Looks like I, I call every like magic attack ninja magic when it comes to these side scrolling adventure games. Anyhow, yeah, guys, what have you guys been playing lately? I have been playing some Gotham Knights, which I got for Christmas. Which is, eh, it's, it's a I I mean, it's no Batman. It's not, it's, it, it has, like, to do with, like, the Batman Arkham games, but it's not really as enjoyable as those games. And, and that's probably because you don't get to be Batman in, this, in these games. Which, to me, is, is like, the only reason to play a Batman game, but... I digress, this isn't a Batman game, it's a Gotham Knights game. So you get to be like Nightwing and Robin and Batgirl 
And um, Dead is his name Deadshot? I don't even know. I'm not too uh, privy on 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 that universe, but it's it's an I game. I mean, I'm slowly getting used to the combat in the game be because you know if you've played any of the Arkham games, you'll know that there's a button for blocking, and you don't get that in this. You get instead uh, like a roll button that you're supposed to use to counter attacks and stuff, and that's just to me, it's like. It's a little awkward. It's like, why didn't they include that in this game? Okay, is that the end of stage one or something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it says. Um, but yeah, I mean, aside from that, I've been playing the Witcher, replaying the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the PS5. And to tell you the truth, I haven't really noticed any difference between that game and the um, PS4 version, which is where I I was playing the game originally, and I beat it, beat both expansions. It's one of my favorite games, hands down. Um, but you know this upgrade that they keep touting and talking about, it's it's not anything noticeable. I, I didn't notice anything uh, better about the game from the PS4 version. Ah, oh, shit. It's never, never, never a good sign when you're free falling like that. One more credit. Oh, man. This game is a good brutal. But yeah, so Gotham Knights, Witcher 3. I did also get God of War Ragnarok. For the PS5 but I haven't opened it yet and that's because I want to finish these games that I'm on and <laughs> you guys know what that's about I believe uh, <laughs> Quintantino Retro Complex tweeted something about um, this issue where like you buy new games but you have like no uh, intention or time or what have you to play them and that's me to the T man that is me to the T. That's that's a, a good reason why like I didn't buy a lot of games in 2022 is because I just have no time for it. And my backlog is just like beyond out of control. I mean, I have games that I have never opened. And yeah, I've done videos on that. You guys can see those on the channel. And I'm sure that you guys are the same way. You guys, you guys have games you bought, never opened. You've probably forgot, forgotten you have them. And that's me. That's just an excess of games. <laughs> First world problems, right? So, so yeah. I am working my way through Gotham Knights, Witcher 3. And um, I started playing like Resident Evil 4. Oh, damn. Um, on the Switch. But that one took a back seat. Just because of the holidays and stuff. Just zero time for anything. So I noticed like, oh, that's rich. I noticed like a lot of YouTubers are doing year end reviews and looking back on the year and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna be doing that. And that's because I prefer to move forward than to look back. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing what I do on the Big Retro Show. This is a series that I started pretty much early on in the life of the Big Retro Show, which is the Four Quarters Challenge in which I take on an arcade game, take four quarters, and see how far I can get in it. And yeah, I have fun playing these games. Games that I would otherwise never have the opportunity to play, or even really the desire to play, but yeah, since this game is coming on the Switch, and I have been doing some Switch content lately, uh, specifically arcade games that you can play on the Switch. I, I did a Neo Geo video of switch games um, let me get one more quarter one more quarter we'll call it the five quarter challenge but um yeah i did a, a video on the neo geo games that oh excuse me i think are some of the best on the switch and are worthy to pick up on the switch so yeah i'm trying to 
expand a little bit with the content that I'm doing, which is always a good thing because you never want to remain stagnant uh, when you're doing content. Especially on YouTube where like audiences get bored like really fucking fast. I don't know what's, what, what's up with this dude's like pants. Like, <laughs> check them out. Okay, what are you saying, dude? Yeah, this is straight out of a Strider le level. And that's because one of the developers or one of the programmers for Strider worked on this. And uh, in Nintendo Life, I forget his name, he's quoted as saying like, this is his personal Strider 2. Um, he loves this game and he is hella happy it's coming on the Switch. To me, I mean, it's not it's an alright game. Yeah, especially if you like um, Strider. The name is pretty is pretty um, interesting, Cannon Dancer. <laughs> Reminds me of like Shadow Dancer on the Sega. Which to me is like one of the most underrated games in the arcades. And on the Genesis, not a lot of people talk about that game. All right. Stage clear. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's... Quit with the cutscenes, I don't even know what they're saying, so... I don't really care. Hopefully the Switch version will be in English. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, he, he does not attack with a sword or anything, he just attacks with his fist. He is that deadly. Oh, come on, man. Okay, this is the last life. Not quite sure what these power-ups do, but I assume they make you stronger. I mean, I hope they do. I mean, if they didn't, that would be like false advertising or something. It's like a surf, surf level. Pretty cool. Don't have that kind of thing in Strider. Why did I do that? I know I was gonna I'm gonna need that for the boss. Oh dang. Graphics look pretty good in this game. Why is she upside down? Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Man. Fun game. Coming to the Switch. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this small glimpse of cannon fodder. Um, if you did, make sure you drop a comment, give this video a like, and subscribe to The Big Retro Show. Thank you for joining me, and here's to a great 2023 for you and your fam. Thank you. I will see you next time. Peace! Peace!